Hey guys, Manager14 here. Um, I know I've been doing a video in a couple days, but here's one now. It's um, it's actually gonna be different parts. The Lego City Advent Calendar. It is set number 7687 for ages 5 through 12. It comes with 257 pieces. Now I know 257 pieces may not sound like a lot, but trust me, when you see how many exclusive pieces there are in this set, then you'd know that it's good. So, the actual box is the uh, calendar. As you can see, you'll have to turn it around like this. So then, you sit it up like this, and then you just open up the little doors. I've already opened some. This is going to be through days 1 through 6. There's a total of 24. There's a 24th right there. Um, inside there's plastic, there's a big plastic container that holds the pieces. I don't know if you could really see that. Um, this set is $30 unless you get it for a coupon, which is what I did. So, anyway, on to number one. What could be inside? Oh, you could probably see already. What can be inside? It's a minifigure. Nice little minifigure dude. So, excuse me, dude. He's got a helmet on. He's got a snowball. Uh, dark blue pants. And blue and white shirt. Put him down. And on to number two. What can it be? What could it be? Anything could happen. And oh, what's this? It's a snowman. Oh, wrong way. Let's see, it's a snowman. See? Now, the cool thing about the snowman... You get a red handkerchief, I guess you can call it handkerchief, handkerchief, which is rare piece nowadays. You get a top hat, um, see, top hat, which you can get in the, like a, a winter toy shop. And a white Lego minifigure head, which is very good. So put him down too, if you can hear a, um, um, phone in the background that's in a different room. Number three, what could it be? What could it be? It is a, oh, what is it? It's a sled. And yes, I already have all these pieces built. They come in bags when you have them. But I have them built already. It's a sled. Sled, or, sled around. And there is no instruction book. Your instructions is the picture on the, um, little doors, I guess you can call them. So, on to number four. What could it be? What could it be? And another minifigure. This one has skis on. I guess you can call them. They're like little bird beaks or teeth. He also has a snow ball. And this face I have never seen before. I'm not sure if you can really see that. I'll take off his helmet. Oh, yeah. That's a helmet. This face I have never seen before. I do not have it until now. Comment if you have it. He also has a red ankle chief. Oh yeah, I put a thing down there so we could stand up on a board. Here, hold on a second. It's hard to do reviews with only one hand. But on this set, I guess it's a little easier. Because all you need is one hand. So then he would stand like that, and I guess you can put the skis however way you want. So then that was number four. Yeah, number four is not there. Number five, and as you can see, number five ripped when I was opening. Number five, what is it? It's a little stand. I'm guessing it's a ski shop, because there's two little skis right there. That's so far, and number six. Our last door for the day, what is it? It is a lamp post. However, I will have to build it for you because well now everything's falling down. Because it is too big to fit in the door. So excuse me for a second. Put the camera down. Let me just put the bottom back on on this.
So there it is. As you can see, where is that? Okay, so there's a nice little stop right there. There's a transparent orange piece inside there. And there's like a little snow on the, uh, I don't know if it's a mistletoe or whatever. So yeah, that's all for this video. Move this out. Right there. That's all for this video. Um, if this video is a couple days old, and then check for part 2, which will be 7 through 12, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thanks, bye.